Ready to break away from the daily grind and find some true relaxation from this busy world. Ready to experience exceptional natural beauty in the Sonora Desert region of Southern Arizona. Ready to disconnect from your digital lifestyle and experience what's really important in life? Well then, you need to pack up the car, gather your family and friends, and make your way to Alcorn Ranch in beautiful Southern Arizona about an hour's drive from the historical western city of Tucson. The Miller family carries on the old-time dude ranch tradition of genuine hospitality combined with the exceptional outdoor adventure. Daily life revolves around guided horseback rides or hikes, gathered with friends for meals, and the personal freedom to be as busy or as relaxed as you please. Many guests never leave the ranch during their week's stay but there are many great destinations within an hour drive from the ranch if you wish to explore the Sonoran Desert region of Arizona. When you arrive, you'll settle into one of 20 unique cabins that are well appointed and exceptionally comfortable. Each cabin has a private bathroom, private entry, and outdoor furniture for taking in the natural beauty of the area. Daily housekeeping service is provided as well.
Cottontail rabbits, birds, deer, and other wildlife live among the ranch buildings and native vegetation landscaping. All of the cabins are within walking distance of each other and the Longhouse Dining Lodge. Being surrounded by the Sonoran Desert in the foothills of the Babacavari Mountains provides a feeling of intimacy, privacy and seclusion that adds to the enjoyment of your vacation at the ranch. The dining experience is exceptional. Fresh fruits, salads, vegetables and baked goods are part of every meal and the kitchen staff will dazzle you with their creations for every meal. And save room for dessert. You won't want to pass these creations up. It's really important to me when I'm in the dining room uh, working here that everyone kind of gets the same experience that I had when I was a kid growing up. Uh, there's a lot to be said for the traditions that are maintained and the way that certain things are done year after year. And that's something that I've actually taken a lot of pride in and being kind of one part, one cog in the machine of keeping that moving and keeping the things going that have been happening for so long. While you are enjoying breakfast or lunch, Charlie will come around and get you set up for the kind of riding you'd like to experience that day. Mountain riding is always at a walking pace, given the steep trails through the mountains. But you and your horse will explore the mountains where few people have set foot.
Elkhorn is kind of a traditional guest ranch in the sense that the horseback riding is really the core of the experience. Um, we also have a hiking guide these days, but beyond that, most of your time is your own. Kids love to get together and run around and be kids. Adults enjoy visiting with one another, time for reading, writing, art, birding, whatever they like to do. But it's a very relaxed and low-key experience where you really uh, create your own entertainment in a sense, aside from the riding and the hiking. So the special thing about the riding program at Elkhorn is the country and the horses and the fact that we have a very personally tailored program. You'll have the same horse and saddle all week. That horse has grown up on the ranch, been trained on the ranch. It knows how to travel through our country. And our country is really diverse. We have high, rocky, scenic mountains, and we also have open desert country where people can do faster riding. We call them loping rides. You know, whether you're six or on up into your 80s or even 90s, uh, we just personalize things so that everybody has a safe, fun experience. So Elkhorn Ranch is located in the Babakivri Mountains, and we're only about an hour from Tucson, Arizona. We're in the Sonoran Desert, and we are very fortunate to be surrounded by uh, hundreds of thousands of acres of open country in ranching. There's a real conservation ethic here. Many of the ranches, including ours, are involved in something called the Altar Valley Conservation Alliance and we really work hard on combining um, the best of range management and stewardship with economic enterprises, whether it be uh, raising food through cattle ranching or our operation that is more of an ecotourism operation. Bring your comfortable walking shoes or hiking boots and explore the area from the numerous hiking trails on and around the ranch. you'll see the ecosystem around the ranch like never before. and observing the wintering birds of southern Arizona can be fascinating. Desert riding is suitable for loping rides and allows you and your horse to cover the spectacular scenery at a faster pace. Whether a half-day ride or an all-day ride, you'll marvel at the scenery, peace, and serenity of your unspoiled natural surroundings. No highways, no telephone poles, no retail lights, just you and your horse seeing the landscape. Pretty much as it has been for centuries, beautifully unspoiled and natural.
When you return to the barn, feel free to unsaddle your horse, brush them out and turn them back into the corral. It's a great opportunity to spend some quality time with your companion for the week. And there is always help to show you how to put your horse up after your ride. The first time I came um, was the first time we'd ever been to a ranch or anything like that. So we had no expectations. We'd ridden and I'd been to ranches, as it were, but not, not a guest ranch. And I think the very first day that I rode, um, it was just neat. I liked the way they, they set me up and the guide that we had. And we also got a little look at the shoeing, um, some of the veterinary stuff, whatever else they're doing, like with, because they're foaling and they talk about the breeding program and how they bring their horses up and where they get them from. I have horse, I have two horses at home, but to come and ride somebody else's horses and have them show you what they've got to offer makes it uh, really, really interesting. I really like that part. To me, the most special feature of Elkhorn Ranch is the family that runs it. They care for what you're doing they all participate. You meet some of them at supper or lunch or breakfast. You meet others out on the trail and they look after you right from the beginning. You're, you're constantly um, meeting a member of the family. Mary, Charlie's looking after the horses. Both of the girls are involved. Uh, other members of the family are involved. Last year we had the special opportunity to ride with uh, Linda, Charlie's uh, sister, and she came from a different ranch and took us around this one from the perspective of a kid who grew up here. She didn't bother trying to follow the trails the way they were laid out. She, she went by what she'd known when she rode here and it made it very, very personal. And I think the family participation in the picnic, the food service, and everything else makes it very personal. Fun and relaxation between horseback rides are a major part of the ranch experience. You can simply stroll the grounds, read a good book, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy conversation with guests from around the world, or enjoy the 50-foot heated swimming pool. Play tennis, half-court basketball, or pickleball. Or try your hand at shuffleboard, ping pong, and horseshoes. Do as much or as little as you wish. This is the ultimate destination for that special me time. Fast closing in on nearly a century of guest hospitality by the Miller family, they welcome you to their home to share their lives and lifestyle in one of the most spectacular regions of Arizona. But what is it about the Elkhorn Ranch that brings guests back time and time again? Some say it simply feels like home the minute they drive up the ranch road. But we'll let them share what keeps them coming back year after year. I think the most special thing is being able to unplug and get away from the hustle and bustle of work and daily life and distraction, and email, and just coming and being outside in the open, fresh air, riding horses. And it's so different from my life or our lives where everything is email and, and busy and work and we come here and there's no internet, there's no cell service. Uh, so peaceful. And, yeah, it's peaceful and I never get to ride horses at home and to be able to just get up and ride is awesome. And also just um, connecting with people that you would never run cross yeah. paths with um, from all over the world actually. 
um, from the U.S., from other countries, and just having, you know, eating meals together. It's, it's yeah, and I, I love that part. <laughs> and you've yeah. stayed in touch with some, some of the people in yeah. between ranch, right? Yeah, I've made connections with people in Scotland and England and, you know, all over the U.S., so it's pretty Part of what I love is that there are three decisions every day. Like, I'm, in my regular life, I'm making decisions all the time. I'm in charge of things, and I have to make decisions for myself, for other people in here. Decision number one, what am I going to have for breakfast? <laughs> and, and lunch and dinner, you can, I mean, your decision is just like what's going to be off the buffet, but um, that's decision one. Decision number two, are you going to ride this morning or are you not? Yeah. Yes, no. And decision number three in the afternoon, you're going to ride this afternoon? Yes, no. That's it. I mean, it is, yeah. it is awesome. Three decisions, totally unplugged. And uh, that's a big part of why I love it. Yeah, I just, it never has ever dawned on us that to there would be another, another ranch. ranch to go to. <laughs> yeah, like this is the only one we'll go to. Yeah, and the rootedness, like even talking to people who've only, listen to me, only been here two or three times, um, that they're coming back because they're feeling the sense of family that we are. Um, it's just really cool. On Saturday, everyone heads out by horse or shuttle to the desert picnic, where fresh cooked open fire cuisine joins spectacular scenery for an open air picnic in the desert. Now I ask you, horses, scenery, friends, family, relaxation, and great food, does it get any better than this? The special thing about a guest ranch vacation is that it's a really unique mixture of vacation time outdoors, the chance to be with horses, and also the chance to be with other people. Perhaps it's the family you visited with or friends you brought along, but chances are you will make a lot of new friends. And I think that's the part of the guest ranch experience that really makes people come back year after year after year. If you're ready to break away from that daily digital routine and disconnect from the daily grind to surround yourself with unmatched natural beauty, if you're ready to enjoy a slower pace, make new friends, and reconnect with family, mountain and desert landscapes, spectacular sunsets, and what's really important in life. If you're ready for one of the most relaxing yet invigorating vacations of your lifetime, well, partner, 
Gather up your friends and family and head to Southern Arizona for the experience of a lifetime at Elkhorn Ranch. We'll see you at the corral.